uh, welcome to the CSTRO and in this uh, tutorial you are going to learn that how to download exoplanet data from NASA exoplanet archive catalog okay so for uh, doing that you need to type address NASA exoplanet archive and go to archive you can see that they are like confirmed planets are 5470 so click on it so wait for some time okay so this is like a very big database so you want to like select uh, columns from your requirement so you can see here that here your option to select columns okay so go to select columns and you can see that here maybe you can clear all and then you want to select your name so planet name host name uh, then you want to go for its number of stars and number of planets you can also go to discovery method discovery year uh, you can go to telescope you can go by which method uh, they have uh, discovered so you can transit imaging or you can also like choose some planet parameters okay so you can go to orbital period c major axis radius in terms of earth you can also go to eccentricity planet density you can go to inclination temperature and then you can go for your star data you can choose what type of your star is it's effective from temperature it's a uh, radius it's mass it's metallicity it's luminosity is surface gravity density and also you can get okay so for time being just do your update and your catalog will be ready okay so now your catalog has got ready okay so then go to download you have like all types of format to download then go to your csv format and then download table so wait for some time so you can see here that your data is getting downloaded on the top right in in csv format so it's done now you can open this file okay so open it okay so here you can see that here is your uh, data file and here is your column names okay so if you go move uh, downward you can see that there is all your columns you have selected so plant name discovery uh, number of plants around it total period c major axis in this way you have all the columns and your all the data okay so this way you can download the data from uh, the archive and you can use for analyzing it. So thank you.